Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antibiotic Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 9. And you can see it's. I'm basically picking up where I left off. I'm gonna get more attorney points here. And the big thing is, I've calculated. I can, I can get two time theorems, respect my time study tree. Just go down the usual path that goes to the right first, and then goes to the infinity dimension path, then goes to active. And then 151, 161, and um, 171. I miscalculated it yet again, but this time I have an extra time theorem, so that's, I guess, nice. And I can get one more of these. So basically, this is a way to get all the way to time study 171 while still doing the infinity dimension path. So this, is, this will hopefully give me a huge boost in just production of everything. So let's see, I'm also going to change the automation from E150 to E250, because I think that's actually faster at this point. Actually, maybe, maybe it's not. E250 is a lot, so I'm gonna go to E200. Actually, I think E150 is still good at this point, because at the end, like, it's E150 is still a pretty big jump in the infinity points. Like, think about this. E3 away, if I do this 10 times in a row, I get this achievement. So, I don't think I'm really at this. I'm probably, if I, if the achievements weren't already completed for me, I'd probably be around this row. Maybe I'd be this. I could probably do something like this. Or, I can't do like the Eternity Challenge ones. Maybe. I'd probably be just about getting this one, so yeah, anyway, we're, we still have to wait a lot, unfortunately. This is the active path, and it still involves an obscene amount of just waiting, mostly for Replicanti. It will get a little bit better when I can get time study 62. I mean, at least I don't need to hold R down, that's, that's very good, but the idle path is a lot better because I don't need to wait 10 times longer for replicated galaxies. So finally, we can get E580,000 ants matter. It just allows me to get this study, which will speed up the runs a little bit. I'll easily be able to hit E3000 infinity points, maybe even E3100. The next goal, I guess, is trying to get 162 in addition to 161 and 171. So that that'll be a thing. I'm still kind of far away from that. Another goal is to get the five times eternity point multiplier, at almost four e fourteen infinity points. Eventually, I'm gonna want not infinity points, eternity points. Eventually, I'm gonna want to get this one e sixteen eternity point upgrade, which is pretty powerful. You saw how powerful time study 151 is and this is more powerful than it actually would be usually because it's based on achievements and I have more achievements than you would normally have at this point because reality so there it is e3100 infinity points I'm just gonna do one more run so I can get this I could get this study but again it's I mean it's actually not that bad but it's better to get the 1 E11 times multiplier on all infinity dimensions. That's just more powerful. So I'm going to Eternity, and I guess I need four time theorems here. I'm, I'm not sure if I could... Actually, no, it's it's pretty, pretty easy to afford them all. So there we go. 162. We can also spend the rest on a bunch of these, actually. It looks like I've almost been neglecting them. And then... Just do the usual 10 eternities to get all the way to the 50 times multiplier. And then now let's see how far I can make it. So it looks like I can get up to two more time theorems here. It's not the most powerful. I can also get a decent amount of eternity points, enough to get an eternity point multiplier. So that's what I'm going to do. So get this, get this upgrade and now i'm gonna try something new 
I'm going to, well, first I'm going to get this, which I think is pretty useful. But then I'm going to, I'm going to respec and try to go with the time dimension path. I think this is going to be more powerful than what I had before. And I can still, it's cost the same amount, so I can still get the 171 here and, and have 161 and 162. I'm mostly just testing to see how much powerful this is, more powerful this is. I should test based on infinity points and antimatter, not on eternity points, because I got this. And also I got this little upgrade, which doesn't help that much, but every little bit helps. Looks like this path is actually slightly better. I'm able to get all the way to E3200, 3270 infinity points. I should be able to actually get just a little bit more Antimatter as well, and I'll be able to get a couple more time theorems. I'm also actually able to get, it's enough to get this upgrade, which will also help quite a bit. So I'm also able to get E15 Eternity points, which is pretty nice. But let's, let's see how much farther we can push. I'm probably going to be able to hit E3400 Infinity points. So I'm able to actually hit E3400 infinity points it's enough to get one more study it's it's this very weak one here but yeah it's pretty nice to be able to get all of this and i think i just want to do another run exactly like this except with a lot more eternity points here because this allows me to get a lot of these time dimension upgrades i can get one two three four five six seven of them and then I can also get a couple more time theorems. I don't think they really matter because all I really need for time theorems is, or time studies at this point, is 41. And then I basically have a fully decked out study tree, which is kind of crazy, actually. Like, the next goals are a couple of eternity upgrades. And then eternity challenges. I can't believe how close I am to eternity challenges. I mean, I know this part of the game has been a little bit grindy, but... It didn't, it feels like I've always been able to get a little bit more because of, in the early, in these early time study tree, like every few time theorems, you can change your build a little bit. It's not really true in the late time study tree. And eternity challenges are just going to be, they're, they're one of the most pain, at least early eternity challenges is one of the most painful parts of the game. And I don't think that the, that this glyph is going to actually help all that much i mean it will it will make some of the stuff not quite as bad like for example i since i have the no ethical consumption achievement i don't need to grind as many banked infinities like i like i, I might still need to grind infinities but it's probably not going to be quite as bad and for eternities that's where this reality of the the reality upgrades Eternal Amplifier. I gain three times as many Eternities, but actually it's it's even more than three times because of, if I go here, I also got an achievement that doubles my Eternity gain, which I don't think existed before reality. So that's, that's a total of six times as many Eternities as before. So that's, that's actually pretty nice. It's going to make the grinding a lot. Like not as bad i also am already up to 4500 because of like how i need to do 10 eternities every time i want to do a real good run with time setting 121. so i've been able to push all the way to e3500 infinity points i can get a little bit farther now but the real thing is i can get two time theorems and then with my eternity points i can get this this gives me an 18 e18 times multiplier to my infinity points because it gets more powerful for every galaxy. So now basically I have a fully decked out time study tree. It's pretty great. I can probably even get a couple more time theorems, but they're almost useless at this point. The only the only thing that is useful, no, it's not even this. I thought this was like based on unspent time theorems. I, I thought there was some achievement that gave me something some kind of little multiplier based on unspent time theorems. Maybe it's actually an eternity upgrade. 
And it's actually one I don't even have yet. So basically, I just want to get attorney points now. And I can get E16 of them. Actually, I'm just going gonna, gonna to get one more of this so I can get a little bit more. Basically, the entire upgrade I'm going to get next run is this upgrade, and then this is going to be a little bit more powerful. So there we go. 405 times multiplier on the in eternity points, and we can go back to here maybe. There's actually nothing I can get. So now I just do the 10 eternities so I can get the 50 times multiplier and then basically just do the same thing again. I don't really need any time theorems though. I just want eternity points and I feel like this is actually still the fastest way to get eternity points. I think after this I'm gonna actually go for eternity grinding which sucks but that's kind of what I have to do because I gotta get this upgrade to be more powerful and I have to get enough attorneys to unlock attorney challenge one. I'm still far from being able to afford it, but still, I'm, I'm going to need it. Okay, so I've pushed basically as far as I can, and I can get six time theorems, which now are basically completely useless, because I have essentially, for this point in the game, a fully decked out time study tree. The only thing that's going to be useful now is eternity points and eternity challenges. I'm still far from being able to afford even eternity challenge one. Like, I could get a few more time study things. I can skip 17, 19. Actually, I can afford it, but barely. And I think it's just a better idea to be grinding infinity or eternities at this point. So... I'm going to get this upgrade because it's very useful, obviously, and then get as many of these upgrades as I can, and then go to my automation. Um, instead of doing eternity X, no, eternity XAP, zero, and then basically do this. So you can see I could hold M. M isn't really going to help very much, though. I can go to statistics. Basically, I now want to look at how fast my eternities are. So right now they're about 600 milliseconds. Now I can probably make it a little bit faster if I go to automation, instead of doing E150, I could do E285. And this is because I start at E25 infinity points. So I don't know why it's, oh, that's why it's not doing it. So now it's gonna be significantly quicker. Yeah, now it's only about 360-ish milliseconds. So that is about, with the 6 times multiplier, a thousand eternities per minute. So that means it takes only E, or not, not E. It takes only 20 minutes to reach 20,000 eternity points, and a little over an hour, or an hour and 40 minutes, maybe hour 45, to reach 100,000 eternities. So it's still a grind, but... It isn't as brutal. It's not like days. Like, seriously, it was like 24 hours before. But with all the boosts that I have, this is probably the best thing I can do right now. So, I know this grind sucks, but I think once I am through with this nasty grind, I'll be hopefully... I mean, first of all, I got an eternity point multiplier here. So I can probably right off the bat, gain like 3 E17 attorney points. That's what I'm probably going to do at first. Or at least that's what I hope. This will hopefully also give me some more time theorems so I can start Eternity Challenge 1. After Eternity Challenge... Hopefully the, the Eternity Challenge 1 reward will help enough that I can start gaining. But this... I will say, this is the most brutal part of the vanilla game pre-reality, in my opinion. This E16 to E20 eternity point slump. It gradually gets faster and faster, but it's still pretty rough.
Actually, I forgot to mention, from the Attorney Milestones, I have this as well, the While Offline Gain Attorneys at 50% the rate of your fastest attorney. So that's actually going to be very useful. It's 30,000 an hour. So that that's going to... That means I don't need to grind. And I guess this is part of the reason why the vanilla game was so brutal. Because we didn't have these last two Eternity Milestones. This is the last one. So, yeah. There's also Infinities. I don't know. Let's, let's see how many Infinities I have. I have... I mean, I'm gaining banked Infinities actually every Infinity. And it's giving me, like... 15 each so that means if I get 100,000 eternities at least on camera I'll get 15 I'll get 1.5 million banked infinities it's not really that much but it's at least something like the, the big one here is attorney challenge 4 requirement it starts at 100 million infinities and it goes up to 300 million so that's where I do want to grind infinities but I think Eternities are the first thing I should grind, and Infinities can come later, at least when I, maybe the point where I actually might start wanting to do Eternity Challenge 4. So, yeah, it, this also is an interesting part of the game, because Eternity Challenges are quite strategic, and you really have to know what you, you have to do, and I feel like once I'm out of, like, the slump... And besides, you know, the Eternity slash Infinity grinding, like, when I get to E25 Infinity points, the game starts really getting interesting. And unfortunately, kind of is less interesting through this part of the game. It's just pick whatever time studies and wait for replicated galaxies, of course. And yet, that is another brutal part of this part of the game. Hopefully, some of the reality stuff, like maybe the perk tree, will help with... A lot of things here. I also don't know what this is. Untangled? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I I think I'd rather go with Untangled because this... This looks good. This looks very weird. Well, anyway. um, uh, I guess next episode we're going to start in or the Eternity Challenges. And it's going to be very interesting. So, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank you.